Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. Do you have photos with large unwanted distractions that no matter how hard you try, you can't remove? Well, stick around because in this video, I'll be demonstrating a new tool from Luminar which purports to do just that with the power of generative AI. It's called Generase. Does it work? That's what we're going to be discussing in today's video. According to Luminar, Generase is a next generation erase tool that not only removes unwanted distractions from your images, but also replaces those areas using content aware tools, providing a focused and distraction free composition. Why is this release significant? Well, Luminar becomes only the second photo editor, at least that I'm aware of, to integrate generative AI capability. They follow Adobe, which released theirs back in March. If you're interested in Adobe's release, you can watch my video on that topic. In terms of pricing, you'll be glad to note that Luminar provides more options to consumers. While Adobe requires a yearly commitment of $120 for a Creative Cloud subscription, and that includes access to all its generative AI tools. With Luminar, you have the option of purchasing a perpetual license of around $250, US which makes it cheaper in the long run. Or if you choose to subscribe, you can do it for around $12 a month, which is cancelable at any time. That seems to be a more reasonable option if you want to dabble with generative AI. With that introduction out of the way, let's run through the demonstration. First, let's answer the question, why do we even need Generase at all? Haven't object removal tools been around for years? Well, yes, but as you can see here, traditional tools run into problems when the unwanted object is fairly large and hidden details and textures cannot easily be replaced by examining its surroundings. For such cases, it is Generase to the rescue. But does it work? To demonstrate Generase, let's work with this previous example and try to accomplish what the traditional tool could not. To use it, first ensure that you have installed the Generase extension. Next, brush over the object. Finally, click Erase. That's it. The result is pretty good, but there is a minor artifact. No problem, I can use Luminar's standard Erase tool to get rid of it. There, a perfect result. Let's move on to the next example. As you can see here, a very large tree structure is ruining the perfectly nice view. This is very difficult to remove for any traditional tool. Let's see how Generous does. In this case, it's a poor result. Generace tried to fill the gap with this rock structure, which was not present in the original scene. I would have preferred that it just replace the gap with the sea and sky. Not a good removal. I would call this result unsuccessful. Let's move on to a third image. For this, I'll try to remove the persons in this scene. As you can see, Generace did a decent job properly recreating the obscured background. Unfortunately, there are some darkening artifacts, but this can be corrected with some masking and exposure adjustments. Since Generace did the bulk of what is needed, I would call this result successful. Let's move on to the fourth image. Once again, I'll try to remove the person. This is another tough one for traditional tools as a large part of the complex background and floor is obscured. Let's see how Generase does. As you can see, a pretty good result. The technology was smart enough to mimic the adjacent logo. Looking closer, you can see the lettering is actually gibberish. No matter, from a reasonable distance, who would notice? 
I would say this is another success for Generace. Let's move on to the fifth image. For this image, let's try to remove the large cup in the table. Not so easy for a traditional tool due to the size of the cup relative to the table. Let's see how Generace does. As you can see, not a great result with alternative objects replacing the cup, bringing us back to square one. I'll call this result unsuccessful. Let's move on to the sixth image. For this image, let's attempt to remove the bike, which is once again in a fairly complicated background. As you can see, it's a pretty good result for generous. Finally, let's move on to the seventh image and let's try to remove all the objects in the scene. As you can see, Generous did a superb job. So there you have it. That's Generous in action. We've got five successes out of seven. Not bad, considering we would probably have gotten zero out of seven if we employed traditional tools. So in conclusion, what do I think of Generous? Is it any good? I would say yes, it does work as advertised. Generace is a solid addition to Luminar Neo. We have to remember that Luminar is not yet done with generative AI. As of this recording, they just released GenSwap, which I'll be making a video on, and are soon to release GenExpand, which are sure to enhance Luminar's editing prowess even further. There is a reason why Adobe is going all in on generative AI. Competitors better get on the bandwagon or risk getting left behind. However, you might ask, are there any downsides with using Generace? Aside from the inevitable errors in using AI tools, the main drawback would be its slowness. Processing would take anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes far more than any traditional object removal tool, but far less than the editing time you would employ if you had to manually remove it yourself. Another disadvantage compared to traditional tools is the requirement for an internet connection, but this cannot be helped as all the magic is done by some AI service in the cloud somewhere. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what you think of Generace. Is this a good addition to Luminar? Do you agree that other photo editors should adopt generative AI? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.